Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Brim and Bacon. In a different video we show you how to skin, fillet and debone a brim fish. A fillet just like that. We're going to pop them onto a strip of bacon and wrap it up and then cook it over a high heat until the bacon is cooked. Once the bacon is cooked, secure this with a toothpick that has actually been soaked in water for the simple reason that it will allow the toothpick to absorb the heat without burning and it will also not stick to the food too much so you will be able to remove it more easily at the end of the cooking time. So don't forget to remove these toothpicks prior to serving because uh, you don't want people to think that it's part of the dish. That could get ugly. So just secure it like so. Count how many toothpicks you use. That will make it a lot easier for you. So just a little parcel like so. This is a perfect size entree and we're going to cook it, pan fry it over high heat. Okay, for our brim and bacon on high heat we're going to give our fry pan a spray of olive oil, drop our brim fillet which has been wrapped in bacon into the pan. We have some little wheels of corn that have been partially steamed. We're just going to pop those in as well. A little fresh corn cobs and I've just par cooked them, pop those in there like so and pop the lid on. For a couple of minutes we're going to turn it over, our bacon should be nice and crispy and brown on one side, turn it over and do the same for the other side and then we'll make an easy side dish to go with our entree. After about a minute and a half we're going to turn our little corn wheels over, turn our heat back slightly and have a nice charred, smoky bacon flavour to it. We're going to turn our bacon and fish over carefully. How good does that look? Same with the other side. We just want to cook this bacon. Once the bacon's cooked, the fish will definitely be cooked. Okay, about another minute or so. Okay, time to remove our fish. Place it onto our serving plate. And can remove our toothpicks and continue with the rest of our dish. Back a bit now. A the searing action we needed. A bit of the fat has rendered out of that bacon and been absorbed by the corn. Okay, we're going to remove our little corn wheels and toss in our cherry tomatoes. They can go in now. Some nice colour on those. And in with our Spanish onion or our red salad onion. Give that a bit of a mix around with our cracked pepper. Okay, we give those a gentle toss. We just want to have a bit of colour happening there. And now we're going to toss in a little bit of our homemade balsamic orange glaze. Now, this will give it a nice rich colour. It will bring the sweetness out of the onions and a little glossy finish. It will make a bit of steam when I do this. Okay, we... Okay, we've given these vegetables a little toss. Now we're going to drizzle over our balsamic glaze and pop the lid on. Give it a bit of a shake. Mm, it smells good. And turn it off. And that's what you have. And there you have it, Cheeky Richo's Brim and Bacon with char-grilled cherry tomatoes with a balsamic glaze and Spanish onion and char-grilled corn wheels.
hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out my Cheeky Richard channel and please subscribe, leave a comment, a recipe suggestion or request, or even just share an idea. Do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.